Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. Imagine that. Anyways, um, this is going to be a quick one. I'm going to show you how to render your videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is for HD YouTube rendering, so I'm going to go ahead and render as it's a video I put together. Now here you'll get this. Um, I'm going to save as type, it, and I'm going to change that to Windows Media Video 11. Um, you can do whatever you want. AVI works pretty good. You can you can get pretty good videos with AVI, but I hear or what I've experienced with them is they're extremely big file sizes, whereas WMV is smaller. So let's do WMV. Now I have my preset saved YouTube HD widescreen. Uh, you can click pretty much any template they have and edit that. So I'm just going to do my template. Let's go into customize. All right. Now this is your audio. You're going to want CBR mode. And from what I know, CBR mode is basically like a automatic setting and quality VBR. You kind of set um, what you want more personalized. So if you guys know a lot about audio stuff, you could probably do quality VBR. And I'm not even sure if I'm right in saying what I just said about automatic settings and stuff. But uh, anyways, um, format, Windows Media Audio 9.2. Not sure what the difference between all these is, but I... It's just what I use. Um, attributes. Now for these, you make sure you want stereo, unless you really want it just to play out of one speaker. So do stereo. Um, I do 192 kilobytes per second. So and then, oops, 48 gigahertz or kilohertz or whatever that is. A um, bunch of weird letters. So do that. Um, again, CBR mode, and there's some bitrate VBR. Um, CBR kind of. Uh, automatically picks the bitrate that matches your videos um, best. So, uh, and I think it picked uh, 6.3 megabits per second up here. You can see what it picks. I think that might be what that is. Um, you can do Windows Media Video 9. Um, then high definition is what I use. It kind of depends on what your uh, your video actually is, like the resolution of your video. And I think mine's a 720 by 480, so it's widescreen, I think. So I'm just using 1280 by 720. Just because it's the same aspect ratio, it's 16 by 9. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, pixel ratio, aspect ratio is 1. Um, frame rate, the standard 29.9. Um, key seconds per keyframe, not exactly sure what that is, but whatever. Um, I've turned my smoothness up to 100. All right, now bitrate. I think this is what the 6.3 is. But I just turn mine on internet LAN, and then I do six megabytes, so per second. Then we skip over index slash summary. I don't even. That's for like naming your video and publishing it, I think. And then uh, go to project real quick and just make sure that's on best. I give it a better touch and. Then go ahead and save that. Um, one thing that people do that I would not, I don't do very often, is let me see where I find it. Uh, yeah, render to new track. That's that's something that you can do. But when you render it to a new track, remember it renders in low quality, and then when you try to re-render it, it doesn't render very good. Um, then there's people that also, where is that at? Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Whatever, I can't find it. Okay, whatever. But there's this thing called Make Movie, and you can do that, but I prefer rendering it better. So, whatever strikes your fancy. So... Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Give me other ideas for tutorials. I'm running out fastly. Fastly is a word. Um, by the way, I might post this video that I have in my project thing to YouTube sometime because it's actually an intro that I made for my video, and it's very complex. It has like 14 different tracks, and they're all. It's just really cool. I'll have to post it or something. But anyways, thank you for watching this video tutorial by Cublub. And by the way, if you guys like the new capture service that I use, or the new capturing program I use, it's Camtasia Studio 6. I got it, and it's really sweet. 
So, and it like you can actually see my mouse move rather than like my mouse being over here, and then all of a sudden, like two seconds later, it's over here. That was kind of frustrating. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Bye bye.